I'm Kelsey from KC Trees. We're a nonprofit with a mission to restore, enhance, and protect the tree canopy of the nation's capital. I'm joining you from Kingman and Heritage Islands, human made islands in the Anacostia River in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is known as the city of trees. It has been for over 100 years. But what will the next 100 years look like? D.C. got this name due to the fact that we have hundreds of tree species that live here, but also the community activists and city planners who have advocated for trees and green spaces in the city. Community members advocated for more green space on Kingman and Heritage Islands and increased plant life by planting trees and installing rain gardens. But why are green spaces and nature in particular so important for the city? Casey Trees has a mission of 40% canopy coverage by the year 2032. This means that we'll have to plant about 10,000 trees every year to reach this goal. This aligns with the city's sustainable DC plan. Canopy refers to the coverage by all twigs, branches, and leaves from trees. Cities across the country, and indeed globally, are recognizing the efforts they need to take to fight climate change. In Washington, D.C., we are noticing the effects of climate change through warmer summers and more intense rain events. Building resilience means strengthening our immune system to handle any possible challenge. So how do trees, waterways, and green spaces contribute to this immune system? One part of this is our watershed. You may not realize how important the watershed is to you, but the rivers here provide your drinking water, recreation space, and habitat for wildlife. Maintaining ecosystems on Kingman and Heritage Islands creates a healthier watershed overall. Kingman and Heritage Islands are one of the places where we can increase canopy and maintain what's already here. But why is canopy so important for the city? Well, think about, have you ever been standing on a street waiting for a bus on a hot summer day? It sure would be more pleasant to be standing in the shade of a tree. Trees can reduce the air temperature, especially in the summer. And they can also reduce air pollutants. DC has some of the best and most walkable parks in the country. Kingman and Heritage Islands are a safe and accessible place where you can recreate. You can play with your family, take a restorative nature walk, even kayak on the river. Where there are park spaces, we see improvements to human health, both physical and mental. Human impact has changed the landscape over time. In Washington, D.C., we've gone from forested wetland to tobacco fields and from garbage landfill to naturalized park spaces. The city government has created plans such as Sustainable D.C., Climate Ready D.C., and Resilient D.C. to manage spaces and to ensure that the city is livable for years to come. Community members can voice their opinions and state their priorities through community meetings that city officials host. You can advocate for spaces like Kingman and Heritage Island and ensure that these spaces are protected. Behind me is an example of how Casey Trees advocates and community members successfully advocated for spaces. Rather than leaving this as impermeable surface, these advocates asked for more rain gardens to manage stormwater, more trees for canopy coverage, and walking trails and recreation spaces like the fields behind me. Rain gardens have plenty of native grasses and trees that soak up stormwater through their roots. During rain events, the water will fall into these bowls and get sucked up by the roots and absorbed and stored by the plant life here. Green spaces like Kingman and Heritage are a big part of what makes our city and neighborhoods nice places to live now and into the future. I hope to see you on the islands or planting trees throughout the district.